Hey, you nine. How are you going? Welcome back to another week. Today, we are looking at census and surveying. So ways of collecting data. We've talked a lot about analyzing data, describing data, displaying data. Um, we're going to talk about issues of gaining that data itself. Okay, now some of this is a revision of last year. Um, some of it uh, might be new to you. Uh, so uh, it won't be a too long a video this time, but we'll just go through it. So first thing we need to know is what is a census and what is a survey? Okay, a census is when you collect data from the whole population. Okay, from a whole population. Now that population, okay, population just means the whole group of people that you're concerned with. Okay, so the population could be the population of a country, so all the citizens of a country, uh, or it could be um, all of the members of a RSL club or something like that. And if you, whatever the uh, group of people that you're interested in, um, a census will survey or will collect data, sorry, from all of those people. Okay, it could be all the people who play cricket. Okay, you just have to get data from every single person who plays cricket if you want to do a, a census on that. Okay, now a survey is when you're collecting data from a part of that population. Collecting data from a part of that population. Oops. Um, so again, the population is just whatever group of people that you're concerned with. So again, uh, let's say we we'll, uh, wanted to get data on what people thought about um, the, what, what they should do uh, or who, sh who they should vote for, who they think they're gonna vote for. Um, then the people that you're concerned with are the people who can vote in that election. So the citizens of that country. Okay, it's not every single person that is the population. It's just the people of that group that you're concerned with. And a survey is when you're collecting data just from a, a component of those people. So you're not uh, gonna talk to every single person who can vote. That's what an election is. Um, you're just going to uh, find out from a small amount of people um, from that population that you are concerned with. And that's what a survey is. Okay, now there are different ways that you can survey people. So let's go through them now. You can survey people randomly, okay? So randomly uh, just means that the people that you're getting from that population, you're not sort of deciding any kind of way or algorithm in which you're going to survey, you're just doing that at random. So you could uh, throw a dice and whatever number it comes up with might be the person that you uh, look at or something like that. Something that's completely random, there's no rhyme or reason. So you could assign numbers uh, to say everyone in the population and then pick uh, random numbers uh, from that to then survey those people. So that's an example of random sampling. So uh, let's say e.g. throwing dice to choose who to sample. Okay, that's an example of random sampling. Now, systematic uh, sampling is a bit different. Uh, it's where you might uh, go through a list of the population uh, and then have some kind of systematic way of choosing who you're gonna sample. Okay, so it might be, for example, uh, picking every 10th name on a list, on an alphabetical list. So that way you're only sampling uh, one tenth of the population, um, but you, there's a systematic approach to it. Even though the alphabetical list is a kind of arbitrary thing, there's still some kind of uh, logical way in which you're going through and sampling. Uh, so picking every tenth name on an alphabetical list. That's an example of systematic sampling. Okay, now convenient sampling uh, isn't a very good uh, way of sampling usually. 
Uh, convenient sampling is where you just survey the easiest people that you have access to. Now, it's good in the sense that it might save you time or money, uh, but it doesn't necessarily give you the best results. So convenient sampling, as an example, might just be surveying the first 50 people you see. So you're not really uh, thinking about what would give me a good result. You're just thinking, what's the easiest to do? So you're just walking down a street, survey the first 50 people. That's a convenient sample. Now, stratified sampling uh, is when you want to take an even proportion from different groups in a population. Okay, so stratified even proportion from different groups within a population. Okay, so an example of stratified sampling is, let's say you wanted to get a survey of who people are gonna vote for in the next election, uh, but you are conscious that in different uh, electorates or different suburbs, uh, people uh, generally have different voting patterns. So if you wanted to a good, get a good idea of uh, who people are going to vote for in a kind of fair way, rather than just surveying people who live in a particular place, you would make sure that you had an even proportion in your sample of people from different suburbs. Okay, so let's say you were sampling uh, one hundredth of the population, you would make sure that you would sample, have included in your survey or in your sample, uh, a one hundredth of each relevant uh, electorate that you uh, wanted to find out for. Or another example is, let's say you wanted people's opinions on a particular thing, but you wanted to make sure that you had an even amount of men and women surveying. So in that way, you'd have the same proportion of men and women in your survey. So stratified just means even proportion from different groups within a population. We're going to work out how we can answer questions to do with stratified sampling just now. So here's an example. In a group of 450 students, 200 are primary students and 250 are secondary students. A stratified sample of 90 is to be selected from the group based on year level. Okay, and we want to work out how many primary students should be selected. So the first thing we need to do is find out what uh, fraction of the population, of the whole population we are sampling. So first find out what fraction of the whole population we are sampling. So in this example, uh, we have 90 people that were being selected and the whole population, that is the 450 students, is uh, what we're trying to find. So it's going to be 90 over 450 is going to give us the fraction of the whole population that we're surveying. So uh, 9 goes into 45 five times. Uh, so we have one fifth. Uh, of the population that is being sampled. So, uh, to find out how many primary students should be selected, we want to survey one fifth of the amount of primary students in the same way that we would also then find out one fifth of the amount of secondary students. But in this question, we're just finding the primary students. So it's going to be one fifth times by the number of primary students is going to give us the number of primary students which we're going to survey. So this will give us 40. Okay, so that means in your survey of 90 people, you want 40 to be primary students, you want 50 to be secondary students, so that you're getting a good idea of uh, people's results from across the school. You've got an even proportion in your sample as is represented in the whole population. Okay, I hope I. Uh, uh, you've enjoyed this video and good luck with the questions today and I'll see you in the next video.